Hello again. Um, today I want to show you one of the um, newer features of the MIDI box firmware, and that is a way to do sequencing like you could on the uh, Roland SH101 and the JX3P. Both those Roland sequencers had a sequencer that you could step with a click, which didn't necessarily have to be a regular click. It could be a, a key press or a drum trigger, and it lets you make um, sequences with this, the notes not necessarily linked to the rhythm they're playing. And so, to demonstrate this, in track one I've got a little sequence, length four, and we'll play it here. Just playing E, A, B, and then a high E. And of course it's set for a length of four. I could set it for five because I have a fifth note in it. And it would play since each track can have its own length, it could play out of sync with other things in a way. I'm going to set the length back to five. And of course you can also set the divider. Instead of being 16, the divider decides how many clock ticks um, are between each note. So if I set it to, say, a bigger number, So you can get polyrhythmic things and different uh, things working against each other that way. Let's get it back to normal. But you can also, instead of having the sequence advanced by the clock of the MIDI box sequencer, you can have it advanced by something else. It just has to be some kind of other MIDI note. So what I'm going to do is, on track number one, go into mode and it's set for bus number one. There are four different buses, so you can have four of these setups going at the same time. And over here, the S trig, I'm gonna turn on. And back here. So now it's it's um it's gonna receive its advancing basically the uh, alternate kind of a clock from bus number one. And on track two, I've got track two set to go output to bus number one. So whatever track two plays is going out and going into track one and that's going to advance that sequence. So if I hit play, this sequence in track number one is no longer advancing, it's still stuck on step number one. And if I go to track two and put some notes in here, now I've got this, or this track number two set for eight steps. And it's just playing a note on the first of each of the eight steps. If I put a couple notes in here more, if I put four notes in, it will finish that four note sequence in every measure. If I put five notes in, and if I go, let's see, let's make this four steps and then go back to track number one and set the length to five. Go back to track two. Instead of having four notes have three. So that's one way of using this, having one track advance another track. Another thing we can do is go back to track number one and say, I want the, uh, oh, I'm sorry, back to mode and say I want the bus that advances it to be bus number two. Now I've got set bus number two set to this keyboard up here. So. Now it won't work if I'm not if this if the sequencer isn't running. The ha sequencer has to be running. So we'll hit go here. And now let me zoom out a little bit. Every time I hit a key, and 
and I can go back to the sequence, set the length to four. I could set it to two. I'll set it back to four. Now the other thing that this is, and this is something that you couldn't do so easily with the SA-201 or the GX-3P. On my track one, back to mode, I do have it set to S-Trig, but instead of setting it to normal, I'm gonna set it to transpose. So transpose is, is lit up. Now when I play my middle C, That's playing without any transposition. And I think with the new firmware, you can adjust what is the non-transposing note, maybe even per track. But if I go down, so you can transpose things and trigger them at the same time, if you turn the transpose on. And of course you could play different notes from track two like I did in the first example and have that transpose it as well. Okay now for another example in track three, I have three steps filled up, and these have chords in them. And you can hear them like that. I am going to go to mode and set S trig to on. And my Trigger is coming from bus two, and on track four, event is going to say this is outputting to bus two. So now track four is triggering track three. Track three has three notes in it, and track four has nothing in it. So when we all we do is hear, hear the drums, but I put in a couple notes here. If I put in a second note. just like we did the monophonic, but it's got a polyphonic chord in it instead of a monophonic line. And if I go back to my track two with the chords in it, set the uh, set the bus, I saw the, actually the keyboard set to number two as well, so they're both feeding. So if I turn off the notes in track four, so nothing's triggering it, I can go up to the keyboard and since I'm not in transpose mode every note triggers it. So we will go into on track 3 with the chords in it, go to mode and say we're going to get transposition which is going to come from the keyboard. So when I play again, if I play C3, but if I play down a couple notes, or up a note, and if I take track number three with the chords in it, and I change the length to one, it'll always play that same chord. And I'm transposing it so I get kind of like a chord stab on one note.
change that back to three. And one other neat thing to do with chords, and I'm going to go to the mode again. And over here I've got the S trig on off. There's also a sustain on off. I'm going to turn the sustain on. And now those notes that are played will get sustained. It's kind of like they're, there's no note offs. Turn the sustain back off and you can hear the difference. So there's how you do alternate triggering. Instead of using a clock to trigger things, you're triggering each step with a MIDI note. You can have, as I said, four buses. So you could have four people each with their own MIDI keyboard plugged into the MIDI inputs and each one of them triggering one or more tracks with their keyboards and transposing them if you want. It really opens up a lot of possibilities. You could have chords that change for slow ambient stuff and they change from your key presses instead of automatically in a pattern. So try it out. It's pretty cool. Bye.